Hey guys, so we got Luke uh, Jackson Clark here. Watch Luke on Instagram, linking him down in the description, guys. And we're gonna get straight into his style. So there is like a lot of contrast. He's definitely using a lot of filters to shape the light. We're working with the shot right here. So it's a really good shot because it's got a lot of lighting changing and then a few colors changing as well. So we'll be able to do a really nice edit with this one. He's using possibly Photoshop, but he's blooming the highlights in post and getting that super smooth look, especially this shot. There's a really smooth fade to the shadows and it's a really nice transition so we're going to like do a fade especially in the shadows but it's going to like go almost throughout the entire image so um, like the mid-tones sort of get flat as well so and that like gives the mac sort of look so we're going to be fading out the whole image and he told me that he's coming out with presets shortly so i'll update the description when they're out otherwise go over and check them out see if he's got his presets ready for you guys so yeah really smooth but then there is quite a crunchy contrast but that is really really smooth so a big factor will be having the curves creating that flatness throughout the whole image so from shadows to mid-tones to highlights lots of contrast but it's really smoothed out and then as for color it's pretty much just the natural tones there is a bit of blue and orange going on otherwise it's the natural colors in the image and i'll be linking up his youtube channel down in the description as well and let's get into this one all right so getting into this image let's up the exposure we were too dark we need to bring down the highlights to see that detail back there and then let's white balance a bit more so we're way too warm let's just make it cooler so we get all those blues back in our image like it's not too cool we keep the oranges in the image too so that's much more white balanced and before i do much more in here i'll just show you the curves that we're going to be working with so I'll turn them on now this is gonna add a decent fade to those blacks you can see that shine or that lift to the blacks and the darker areas and then we've brought down the highlights and a bit of the mid-tones in here and it's just gonna give that flatness uh, a little bit of a mac look to the entire image and bringing down the white point just a touch and then for color here i'll later in the edit i'll come back to this and explain it a bit more there's not too much going on it's pretty much just adding in contrast into the image because every uh, curve is pretty much the same but as you can see here we've got a bit of blue to the highlights and then we've got slight adjustments down in the blacks and shadows here and i'll show you show you this a bit later on but we've got a bit more green in there and we've got our reds shifted to the left a little and then that just helps to add in that redness into the very dark areas but i might revisit that later on and then it'll be easier to explain to you guys once we've got all our other adjustments and colors in there so we'll just up the vibrance and saturation quite obviously need them maybe a touch of clarity but let's up the black so we can see a bit more in the shadows touch of a pop bring that down a bit i think we're looking pretty good in terms of exposure in that so if we just jump into split toning what i want to do is add some cool blues into the image so let's go with the shadows let's go for eight and then in the highlights we'll go for a bit more so i just want to bring out more blues we haven't played around with hsl yet but i just know that we're going to need more blues in there um so yeah not not too much was going on there in terms of split toning we just mainly want to bring in more blues with those highlights and then we're going to really warm up our oranges so that cool blue we added into the shadows it won't affect them too much so if we come back up into hsl we obviously need uh, much richer tones to all our oranges and yellows so very quickly it's just gone this direction of all of them let's bump up the saturation okay and then we definitely want to shine let's just bring these up real quick shine there and even those blues 
Let's give everything a bit of a shine. And then we're maybe looking like too red to our oranges. There's not many reds in this image. There's maybe a tiny, tiny bit in the deep shadows there. Uh, we want more of a teal to a lot of our blues. So at the moment they're pretty purple. Um, yeah, we'll go here. So during this edit, I noticed these things up here. I don't, I'm not sure what they are, but they're just like pine cones or something. They're very, very orange. And ours up here at the moment, they're very green. So you can only really go so far with HSL. So what I thought is I better do some calibration because calibration like say if you're trying to shift your yellows you can't make your yellows much more of a orange than that so down here i'm just going to give it a slight orange and teal shift and that way we get a bit more teals to our blues and we get a bit more oranges to our oranges that come off almost a red they're so orange so i'm just going to do that a little bit yeah that's just something i tried to do during the edit but yeah but that was my reasoning because i was i couldn't get the rich oranges in those pine cones by just using hsl so i just got the calibration to help me a little bit there um yeah let's, let's drop those greens quite a bit we don't really want them in there uh, we'll drop down the blues so we're adding quite a bit of blues with the split toning and stuff we just sort of want more blues in the background i'll come back to uh, highlight split toning and i'll just bump this up to 10 for the teals and the highlights and what i also want to do while here is i want there to be a lot more blue compared to the oranges like i want to bring out these blues way more so i'm going to shift the blending to the right and that's going to introduce way more of the blues okay so i'm going to shift that all the way you can see that really brings them out and now now all these colors are getting pretty balanced now so we can drop the blues quite a bit in the hsl because we're adding so much in with the split turning okay so now we're just like fine tuning stuff so the aquas i maybe want to hold a little bit of a purple tone to them so we'll just go there purples here not many in the image at all could just leave that a bit more saturation to the yellows and yeah luminance plays a pretty big role in this image so yellows so do i bring up the yellows or do i bring up the oranges i think i bring up the oranges rather than the yellows i'll bring them both up but oranges more um, and then we could just the brightness outdoor up here our greens i think you can sort of you can just see them in the trees there i think we need to like pretty much get rid of them so we're going to go all the way to the left and make them really warm and then yeah desaturate them we could probably take them out completely and yeah we are about done in terms of color in that sharpness could come up a bit quite a bit right um down here in the vignetting i might put a very light vignette and what i didn't do is enable profile corrections because i thought there was it was giving a nice vignette and framing to the image anyway uh, i don't think there's any use for grain and down here in the calibrations what i also wanted to do is see how it kind of makes our teals a bit more or our blues a bit more teal in a way so this was just playing around during my edit because i've edited this before and i wanted to get my blues a bit more that direction so i'll just leave a slight primary green primary shift to the right and yeah we get that nice blue in the background come back up now clarity is a tricky one uh, it's a screenshot off instagram so it's a little tricky to use and yeah we're about done if i show you i've got some brushes in that so this one if we press o this is where it's affecting i've already done it let's just turn that off and on by deleting it so that's without it and that's with it just giving a shine to like the middle of the image and it's kind of like dodging and burning just bringing more attention to the bright areas that are already bright so i might have gone a bit too far maybe i should erase a little bit here but yeah if i just show you again that's where it's affecting 
and we just get a bit brighter in those um, brighter areas okay and then we just have a little filter here it's a very simple one uh, just bringing up the exposure a touch yeah we could go a bit more even so just revisiting the curves here so here's the red i brought the red a little to the left because i wanted a little more red it's very very subtle to the shadows um it could even come up a bit just ever so slightly now we'll bring that back down it could be a touch more purple so we could grab the green and just bring it down ever so slightly just really targeting those shadows yeah that that could work i think we're about good and as i said we just got a bit more blues in the highlights there like it's quite hard to get that amount of blue boom we get it a bit brighter a bit more vibrant because we're sort of like brightening and putting a strong amount of blue in the highlights there and then we could have a bit more haste those mountains but we'll just i don't know we'll run with what we had it at um yeah and then he's he's definitely done some brushing on the mountains like if you look right here he's darkened that compared to our one and that just to bring out probably a bit more detail in the mountains back there yeah i think we're about done let's look at the reset open reset open let's even go like this okay going his image to our image now i think it was maybe a mistake making that change in the curves here i do want a bit more green shift it to the left ever so slightly and then let's go his image our image and then let's take down a bit of pop his image our image yeah i'm pretty happy with that pretty close won't spend much longer sharpness is a tricky one to figure out but yeah it looks pretty sharp to me so we up the sharpening quite a bit and even a bit of clarity uh actually if we come back to our one we can probably relax on that vignette um if we come back up whites down yeah i don't know guys i'm pretty happy with that let me know what you think um there's like probably more redness in the shadows still not happy with that yeah so we could maybe grab the red and go up a touch and then to the left we'll add more in as well yeah maybe that's better um it's good has image yeah anyway i will just leave it there guys um one more time his image uh image and then i will just hit a before and after make sure you guys take the free training that teaches you everything you need to know about curves and color all right so there's a lot to it but this free training is the bare minimum you need to know about color and the curves and contrast and how to use those tools and how the color works in Lightroom. You need to understand that. So free training down in the description, make sure you go watch that. But that's it guys, go follow me on Instagram, way more active over there, helping you guys out over on Instagram. Send me a DM if you've got any questions and I'll catch you guys in the next one.